600 DFC main rotor head upgrade set. So this is the newly announced rotor head for the Align 600 EFL or the uh, Align 550E and it changes the rotor head in that we, it uses a shorter main shaft which brings the rotor head down closer to the body of the helicopter uh, lowering the CFG of the machine, well actually hiring the CFG of the machine so you get a, a, a better roll, uh, a more axial roll uh, and an improved response from the helicopter uh, and it also does away with the little swash phasing arms that you normally have on a flyblist head and instead as you can see on the picture here, uses these redesigned down links. So uh, I'm just going to open up the box here and give you a view of what you get. Okay, so here you have the box opened, and as you can see, it's a very simple number of components that form the upgrade. There's a new main shaft, which is the shorter main shaft, which I was referring to, which brings the head down closer to the body of the helicopter, and that gives you your higher CG. Uh, and your better response and then there's the new rotor head block to go with that with the 600 DFC written on it uh, comes with the dampers installed into it and then there's the new downlink arms so these are new uh, bits that bolt onto the blade grip arms so these replace the existing bolt-on bits on the 600 EFL blade grip so you take the old ones of these off bolt this new one on which has got this new downlink arm on it you need to put the provided in this little packet ball links onto it so you can hook it all up and uh, that's pretty much it there's not a lot to it two downlink arms and that's it. So a lot of reuse of the existing equipment on the helicopter uh, and really just these two arms, the head and the new main shaft. So um, I don't think it's going to be uh, you know, that interesting to do a, a build video of this because there's really not a lot to build. It's just bolting these arms onto the blade grip and installing a new head block and, and main shaft. So uh, really not that complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the thing together and then show it to you when it's built. And if I discover anything interesting along the way, I'll stop and do a little bit of video about it. OK, so in a bit of an attempt to try and make this uh, somewhat interesting, because this is probably one of the easiest and mon most mundane upgrades I've ever done, uh, this is the stuff that's come off of the machine. So the old main shaft the head block with the arms underneath it see that the old blade grip arms the links up to the head and then there's a Jesus bolt and nut and the bolts that were holding these onto the blade grip so that's what came off and then this is what you end up with having done the install Okay, now a couple of things to bear in mind. The screws here that go into this arm, they're not actually installed, they're just on there very, very lightly. You need to take those out, lock tight them and put them back in. Also, that particular bolt was covered in engineering grease, so you do need to degrease it before you install it into this uh, arm, otherwise it's just gonna come undone again because Loctite doesn't like grease. Um, aside from that, these plastic bolts sorry, plastic ball links, screw them all the way on and then you can adjust the length with this little thing here. If I pop this ball off, you can unscrew that and that gives you your length of this particular arm. So just by adjusting this uh, little sort of nut here, unscrews that from this bolt. Um, aside from that, really nothing else to it. It was uh, really very, very straightforward. Just take the blade grips from the old head out, put the new head in, put the blade grips on it, put the arms on, connect it up to the swash plate, put the new main shaft in, pretty much job done. Okay, so I'm just going to install this down into the machine uh, and then redo my setup to make sure I've got zero degrees pitch uh, at mid stick and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, so to just finish off this section, this is the head 
now installed onto the 600 EFL Pro. As you can see it sits extremely low over the body of the model and uh, it's all connected up. I haven't uh, done the work to get zero degrees pitch yet on this link uh, when the swash plate is at mid stick so I've still got that to do you know, a little bit of work setting up the B stakes just to make sure that's okay but aside from that that's the job of installing the head done uh, on the machine and of course now we've got unused balls on the swash plate here and here because the swash plate phasing is now being done directly off of the blade grip arm link so you could potentially uninstall these if you wanted to but they're doing no harm so I've just left them on there okay so that's it Thank you.